Hello students! Welcome to Grade 10 Science Lesson and I'm your teacher, Mom Marian Soriano. You have learned from our previous lesson that when light strike a mirror, it will be reflected to form an image. But what will happen if light gets through a transparent object? Let's find out in today's lesson. Lesson 7, Lenses, Concave and Convex What are lenses? Lenses are transparent pieces of glass or plastic with at least one curved surface. Did you know? The word lens came from the Latin word lentil, which is a type of bean used for cooking. How do lenses work? A lens works by refraction. It bends light rays as they pass through and change direction. This bending by refraction makes it possible for us to have lenses, magnifying glasses, prisms, and rainbows. Even our eyes depend upon this bending of light. Without refraction, we wouldn't be able to focus light onto our retina. There are two common types of lenses. We have convex lens and concave lens. For convex lens, it is thicker in the center than the edges. It forms real images and virtual images, depending on the position of the object. For concave lens, it is thicker at the edges and thinner in the center. It forms upright, reduced image and virtual image. In addition, a convex lens is also called a converging lens because it makes parallel light rays passing through it bend inward and converge at a spot just beyond the lens known as the focal point or focus. For concave lens, it is sometimes called diverging lens because it makes parallel light rays curve outward or diverge. To describe the images formed by lenses, we can use the graphical method through ray diagramming. Just like in curved mirrors, there are two important points that you need to label in your ray diagram for lenses. But first, you need to draw the principal axis. You can also draw a vertical imaginary line that crosses the lens. This imaginary line will serve as your guide when to bend the refracted rays in graphical method. For the two important points, we have the vertex, which is the geometric center of a lens. Next, we have the focal point or focus, which is the point where light rays converge or appear to converge when parallel rays pass through a lens. Remember, the distance from the vertex to the focal point is called the focal length. You can also double the value of the focal length and mark it as a 2F, which will help you in describing the image form by a lens. Knowing the infront and backside of a lens will help you determine the location of an image. Remember that the side of a lens where the object is located is the infront, while the remaining side is the backside or behind the lens. For ray diagramming for lenses, there are three most useful rays. We have the PF ray, the FP ray, and the V ray. Remember that at least two of these rays can be used to describe the images formed by a lens. Let's learn on how we can draw these rays on each type of lens, convex lens, and concave lens. For the PF ray for convex lens, its array of light parallel to the principal axis is refracted passing through the principal focus located behind the lens. While the PF ray for concave lens, array of light parallel to the principal axis is refracted as if passing through the principal focus located in front of the lens. Notice that the refracted rays is extended in front of the lens. To draw the FP ray for convex lens, a ray of light passing through the focus in front of the lens is refracted parallel to the principal axis. For concave lens, the FP ray is a ray of light directed towards the focus behind the lens is refracted parallel to the principal axis. Refracted ray is extended in front of the lens. 
and lastly, the V-ray for convex and concave lenses, which is a ray of light passing through the vertex of a lens and continue to travel in same direction. Let's use the three useful rays in ray diagramming to describe the images formed by lenses. Before we do the ray diagramming, here are some terms or words that you can use to describe the images formed by lenses. To describe the location of the image, if the image is located behind the lens, we could say between the vertex and the focal point, at the focal point, between the focal point and 2F, at 2F, or beyond or farther than 2F, or simply if it is located in front of the lens. For the orientation of the image, we could say upright or inverted. For the size of the image, we could say same, reduce, or enlarge. And for the type of image, we could say real image or virtual image. But how do you know if the image formed by a lens is real or virtual? Here are some tips that you can use to know if the image is real or virtual. The image is real if it is inverted, and it is virtual if it is upright. Positive value of the distance of image means it's real. Negative value of the distance of image means it's virtual. Real image has negative value of the height of image, and positive value of the height of image for virtual. Negative value of the magnifications means real. Positive value of magnification means virtual. Real image is formed behind the lens and can be projected on a screen, while virtual image is formed in front of a lens and cannot be projected on a screen. Let's have a sample ray diagramming for convex lens. First, using a ruler and a pencil, draw the principal axis on a piece of paper. Next, draw the lens and then a vertical line that crosses the lens. Third. Mark the two important points in the principal axis, the vertex, the focal point or focus, and the 2F. Fourth, draw the object in front of the lens based on the given location. From the tip of the object, draw at least two of these rays, PF ray, FP ray, or V ray. Let's have PF ray and FP ray. Notice the merging of the refracted rays behind the lens. From the point where the actual refracted rays merge to the principal axis, Draw the inverted image of the object. Remember, the image will be drawn inverted if the refracted rays merge or converge in the lower or below the principal axis. Now we can describe the image formed by the convex lens through ray diagramming. The location of the object is in front of the convex lens. To describe the location of the image, it is behind the lens or between the focal point and 2F. For the orientation of the image, it is inverted. For the size of the image, it is reduced or smaller. And for the type of image, it's real image, since the image is inverted. Let's have sample ray diagramming for concave lens. First, using a ruler and a pencil, draw the principal axis on a piece of paper. Next, draw the lens and then a vertical line that crosses the lens. Third, mark the two important points in the principal axis, the vertex, the focal point, and the 2F. Draw the object in front of the lens based on the given location. From the tip of the object, draw at least two of these rays, PF ray, FP ray, and V ray. Let's have the PF ray and FP ray. Notice the merging of the virtual refracted rays in front of the lens. From the point where the virtual refracted rays merge to the principal axis, draw the upright image of the object. Remember, the image will be drawn upright if the virtual refracted rays merge or converge in the upper or above the principal axis. Now let's describe the characteristics of the image formed by the concave lens. For the location of the object, it is located in front of the concave lens. Location of the image, it is in front of the lens or same side where the object is located. For the orientation of the image, it is upright. For the size of the image, it is reduced. And for the type of image, since it's upright, it's a virtual image. 
let's have an activity. Using ray diagramming, describe graphically the images formed by concave and convex lenses. You need a piece of paper, ruler, and a pencil for this activity. Let's start! Copy the following diagrams on a piece of paper. For convex lens, for A, the object is located between 2F and F. For B, the object is located between F and V. For concave lens, for C, the object is located between 2F and F. And for D, the object is located at F. You may pause this video as you perform the activity and continue to play if you are done. Let's check your answer. For ray diagramming for convex lens, for A, for the object is located between 2F and F, we can use the PF ray, the FP ray, and even the V ray. Notice the merging of the refracted rays behind the lens. To describe the image form, the location of the image is beyond 2F. For the orientation, it is inverted. For the size, it's enlarged. And for the type of image, it's real image. For B, the object is located between F and V. We can use the PF ray and the V ray. Since the refracted rays did not merge, let us extend the refracted rays in front of the lens. Let's have the virtual refracted rays. Notice the merging of the virtual refracted rays in front of the lens. To describe the image, for the location, it is located in front of the lens. Orientation, upright, size, enlarged, and the type of image, it's virtual image. We can conclude that convex lens can give you either virtual or real image, and that depends on the distance of the object from the lens. For the ray diagramming for concave lens, for C, where the object is located between 2F and F, we can use the PF ray, extending the refracted rays in front of the lens. We can also use the V ray and the FP ray. Notice the merging of the virtual refracted rays in front of the lens. To describe the image form, for the location of the image, it is located in front of the lens. Orientation, upright, size, reduced, and the type of image, virtual image. For D, where the object is located at F, let's have the PF ray and the FP ray. Since the refracted rays did not merge behind the lens, we can extend the refracted rays in front of the lens. Notice the merging of the virtual refracted rays. To describe the image form, the location, it's in front of the lens. Orientation, upright, size, reduced, and the type of image, virtual image. We can conclude that the distance of the object from the concave lens does not affect the type of image form. It's always virtual and reduced in size. Do convex lens always give real image or virtual image only? Let's have another sample ray diagramming for convex lens. For this ray diagramming for convex lens, the object is located at the focal point or focus. We can use the PF ray and the V ray. Notice that the refracted rays are parallel. Let's extend the refracted rays in front of the lens. Even the virtual refracted rays are parallel. So we can conclude that no image is formed if the object is located at the focal point of a convex lens. Always remember for the images formed by lenses, the type of image formed by a convex or converging lens depends on the distance of the object from the lens. For the distance of the object from a concave or diverging lens does not affect the type of image form. The image is upright, reduced in size, and virtual. What are the different uses of lenses? For the common uses of convex lens, it is used for magnifying glass, camera lens, microscope, refracting telescope, and even in projectors. 
or the common uses of concave lens, as a convex lens creates blurs and distortion, telescope and binocular manufacturers install concave lenses in the eyepiece so that a person can focus more clearly. Small concave lenses are used in scanners, medical equipment, and CD and DVD players in which they widen the laser beam to sharply access a specific area. Concave lenses are also used in peepholes and also used in flashlights. Perhaps the most common uses of lenses would be the lenses in our eyes. Light passes through the front of the eye to the lens. The cornea and the lens help to focus the light rays onto the back of the eye. The cells in the retina absorb and convert the light to electrochemical impulses which are transferred along the optic nerve and then to the brain. The brain corrects the orientation of the image form at the retina since it is inverted. As we age, the cornea and the lens can have defects. Here are the common defects of the eye. We have myopia or nearsightedness and hyperopia or farsightedness. For myopia, far objects appear blurred but near objects are seen clearly. The image is focused in front of the retina rather than on it, usually because the eyeball is too long or the refractive power of the eye lens is too strong. This can be corrected by wearing glasses or contacts with concave lenses. For hyperopia, there is difficulty with near vision but far objects can be seen easily. The image is focused behind the retina rather than upon it because the eyeball is too short or the refractive power of the lens is too weak. This can be corrected by wearing glasses or contacts that contain convex lenses. To summarize what you have learned, there are two types of lenses, convex lens and concave lens. For convex lens, it is thicker in the center than the edges. It forms real images and virtual images depending on the position of the object. For concave lens, it is thicker at the edges and thinner in the center. It forms upright, reduced image, and virtual image. I hope you learned and enjoyed our lesson. This is Marian Soriano. See you in the next lesson.